In tonight's top story, a Temple neighborhood wants to know when their road is coming back. Melrose Lane residents say their street was dug up last year and it was completely removed two months ago. Six News reporter Andrew Moore has more on what the city had to say about it. It's, it's just been one nightmare after another. This is the street formerly known as Melrose Lane. Now locals say it's just a project that doesn't ever seem to end. A contractor took out both the street and the curb, and that's led to problems. Stuff gets wet, it is slick as can be. And people get stuck half the time trying to get in and out of here still. Even just yesterday, we had one of our neighbors get stuck at the end of the road. Neighbors have a lot of questions, but the biggest one, when will the road come back? We made sure that got answered. Well, their main question was, when is this going to be done? So is, is there a date range you can give them? Um, I would say in within the next few weeks. So uh, like I said, we are going to uh, be putting down the new sub base starting tomorrow for the road. Then we'll be redoing the curbs uh, and the asphalt over the next few weeks. But why is this taking so long? Temple spokeswoman Emily Parks told us the city was at first just replacing the road after putting in a new sewer line. They then decided to redo the curbs. They then found out the road sub base was bad and the curb sub base was missing and they had to replace that as well. But speaking of replacements, the box where it's sitting now, it's it sat literally right here, and now it sits back there. They destroyed my irrigation system for my lawn, as you can see. It seems the contractor had to widen the road, and they took some things with it. What can people do about that? And we can work with them uh, to get anything fixed, to get anything. Um, Rectified. Park said people should contact the city if they need something fixed in connection with the project. And we made sure to ask exactly who people should reach out to. I would recommend that they reach out to the uh, project manager in the public works department. Andrew Moore, 6 News. All right, way to go, Andrew. And we were told the city would bring out limestone to further work on the base tomorrow. You can find the contact information for that project manager at kcentv.com and we'll make sure we follow up on this one.